In today's video, we'll be talking on how to download safely and from the right sources. Hey guys, welcome to Cyber Safety. We will talk on online safety, digital safety, and also expose the latest scams and tricks used by scammers in Nigeria and all over the world. If you are new to this channel, please and please click on the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon just beside it. Tap on it and then click all so that you get notified the moment you upload new content. And please, we need to get to a thousand subscribers by January 2021. I will believe it's possible. So please just click on the subscribe button. It's free to do so. So just click it. So moving straight to today's topic, I know most times perhaps a new movie comes out, a new music album comes out and we need to download these things, we need to get these albums, we need to get these movies, we need to watch it before our friends to brag and say I've seen this movie, I've seen that movie, I've heard this song and all and we need to do this immediately. So most times, most of us don't, some people or most of us don't have the money to either go to the cinemas to see these movies, so we prefer to wait for the online version so that we can just download it. Some are buoyant enough to quickly stream these things on Netflix and other streaming platforms. Some people don't have that luxury. So what they do is wait to download it. So they visit various sites that have these movies and try to download them to view or to listen to whatever it may be. But you need to know if the site you are visiting does not have a malware. So I, I think about four, five years, four years ago, four years ago there about, I, I was not cyber smart. I was not into this whole cyber security or I was not really aware of all these things. So a new music album came out by Aurora and then I needed to download this album because I was hearing, I was seeing it on Twitter. I saw um, this album is, is nice, it's crazy, it's this and that. And I was a fan of Aurora, the lady. So I decided to look for this album to see if I could get it. And when I checked Google and other platforms, all I could see was a paid version where you have to pay this amount and it was a huge sum in dollars at that time. So I couldn't really afford it. So I looked for the easiest option, which was to Look for a free download. So it was a new album. So I, I searched a whole lot of places before I finally found a site that offered the album. Okay. I decided to download the album. So when I clicked and I downloaded the whole album, I was really happy I had gotten it. I opened it because it was a zip file. So I extracted it from the zip file and then I saw some of the songs, but I still saw some other files and documents which I did not understand. And so I so I think it was like an application or some one sort of exe dot exe like an application I don't know. So I tried deleting that. After deleting it, I felt okay it had gone, and I saw it again in my file manager. I deleted it over and over again. That file refused to leave my phone. Basically, it refused to leave my phone, and then it was it kept on making my phone lag. My phone was slow. My phone that was I think about two gig or three gig there about, and I had nothing running. Like, except listening to song and it, my phone was lagging seriously and that particular thing could not leave my phone after a whole lot of things i just my phone was just basically crashing so all i had to do after all efforts wasted was to format my phone okay so what am i driving at i know most of us go to um sites like today tv series o2 tv series net niger does come to download our movies yes beautiful but do you know if these sites are safe before downloading do you know you could download a virus to your phone or your laptop whatever you're using to download you might download a virus to your phone without you knowing it you might just see okay yeah an, an mp4 file downloaded an mkv file downloaded um, an mp3 file downloaded and oh you might even download a zip folder but something might have slipped into the download and then got into your phone so how do you prevent this from happening make sure you scan the site you're using to download for example net niger that we all know our go to when it comes to downloading of movies was filled with malware when last I checked. So I noticed something in that particular site. I, I decided to use this website scanning platform online to scan the website to make sure it's safe because it's not bad if you make sure the website you're visiting is safe. So you can use those online platforms to scan it. So I used the online scanner to scan the website. I just had to type the website basically. You see the website I used below. I had to type the website inside that inside this particular website. So it did a scanning with so many antivirus systems and found out that that particular website net niger had been hacked and then it had some malware inside it means most of you that have been visiting there you have not been safe only god knows what has happened so far so but maybe i was i was like uh -uh, this is net niger everybody i've been using now so what's going on i decided to recheck with other website scanning tools by using different other websites to scan it and it was it still gave me the same result i tried three different website scanning tools and it gave me three same result that there was a malware embedded in the website or a virus whatever you might know it as so I decided to maybe check other websites. Maybe it's just that particular one. I checked O2 TVCs that most of us use 
Today TV series, fzmovies.net, all those other websites that we all know. I checked it, even nigerloaded.com for music. I checked all these other sites and they were pretty safe, at least to an extent. They didn't have any virus or it did not indicate that it was hacked. So those ones were safe. But that particular net Niger, which we all use, is not safe. So I, I contacted them though to look into their sites and then see if they can fix that. So hopefully they will get that fixed with time. So please and please, before you download or download anything from any particular site, it's advisable you scan the site to make sure it's safe so that you don't get to download something into your phone or your system. And please, it's good to get an antivirus. An antivirus will inform you if the website you're visiting is hacked or if it has all these viruses and everything. So it will also not allow all these viruses to get into your phone. But not the free antivirus. Take note, not the free antivirus. Most free antivirus just do the basics by um, helping you um, indicate if there's something. Maybe you collected a file from someone. It tells you, oh, this file is malicious and all. But if you download online, if you have free antivirus software or application, you might not know. So the best thing for you to do is get the paid one. There's a link in the description below for you to download a good antivirus. And I made sure I looked for a budget-friendly antivirus that you can download and that will notify you if there's a virus in your phone or your system or whatever. So click on the link. I'll put the antivirus for both laptops and then for phones. So check in the link below. Just click on it. You might need to subscribe for it. It's a paid plan. So once you click on it, you might need to pay some money and then you get the paid antivirus. It's good to get the paid antivirus, okay? So that is all for this video. Please and please remember to stay safe. Don't just rush to do things. If you rush to do things like I rushed to download the album, that's even checking with the site or safe. And I was in trouble, but I had to format my phone. I lost my files and everything. So please, you don't want that to happen to you. Stay safe and remember to share this video. Take care. We'll see you next time. Please, if you've not subscribed, do well to subscribe and also like this video.